Hey, I'm gonna show you how to play the chords and strum your way through Waiting on a War, Foo Fighters tune off their excellent new album. Um, it's mainly open position chords down at this end of the neck, like you probably already know. Um, we could be using a trio of power chords, and I'll talk to you about how you can play them. And there's potentially a couple of bar chords if you feel ready for that. Uh, you don't need to be able to play bar chords to learn this song well. You can get the chord diagrams and chart for this tune and lots of other really cool guitar content over on our Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash soundhook music. So, uh, let's jump in with the verse. Okay, we're straight in with the verse. There's no intro in this song. Um, now, the verse happens three times in the song and the first two times it's played twice the chord form I'm about to tell you. The third verse just happens once, but we'll come to that later. Okay, the order of the chords is D for two bars, and then it's gonna go A7 sus4 for two bars, E minor seven for two bars, and G for two bars. Okay, the D major is a classic open chord D, so an open D string, second fret of the G with your first finger, third fret of the B with your third finger and the second finger on the second fret of the high E. The strum is down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then we change to the A7 sus4. Now we have an open A, second finger moves to the second fret of the D, the open G, the third finger stayed on the third fret of the B, and we've added that pinky to the third fret of the high E. And it's the same strumming pattern again. So we've gone from D. So D for two bars. A sends us four for two bars with that pattern. Now the strumming pattern is two bars long. Down, down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, and then it changes chord there. I'll do it slowly, D to A7, sus4 again. Then we go to an E minor 7. Now that's a lovely change, very Noel Gallagher kind of Wonderwall vibe uh, by Oasis. Um, from the A7, sus4 to E minor 7, we just need to add this first finger on the second fret of the A string. And it's the same strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then we change to G. Now the G just sees the second finger scooch from the second fret of the D to the third fret of the low E. I'll play the verse through once. So, one, two, three, four. song, the verse one, and the second time we do the verse, we play that progression through twice. Let's play it twice now. One, two, D, first. Chorus, I'll tell you the chords first and then we'll go for a slightly different strumming pattern. It's E minor 7, G, D, A7 sus4, and then E minor 7, G, and then a new chord, C add 9. We'll come to that chord in a moment. When we go to the C add 9, we're going to strum it four times. And the C add 9 is like the G, so pinky on the third fret of the high E. 
third finger on the first fret of the B, open G, open D. Now first finger goes second fret D, second finger goes third fret A. So from the G, you just pop them down a string each. Okay, let me show you the pre-chorus strumming pattern. It's down, down, up, up, down, up for each bar. It's just a one bar strum now. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And we go E minor seven. G to D to A seven sus four to E minor seven to G to C and nine for three more bars. It's four in total on this one. Then the chorus. So we've got down, down, up, up, down. All the way through that pre chorus. Again, I'll say the chords. One, two, E minor seven first. To G. To D next. Then A seven sus four. Then E minor seven. To G. Now C and nine for four bars. Two more bars. Last bar. Now the chorus needs a D, B flat major, F major, C, D, B flat, F, and G. Okay, so let's just talk about the chords. D is first finger G, second fret, third finger. Uh, third fret on the B, second finger, second fret high E, strumming D, G, B, and E. So we go down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we're going to change this B flats, which is first finger, first fret A string, and then we need the second, third, and fourth fingers to go in a straight line across the first fret of the D with the second, third fret of the G with the third, third fret of the B with the pinky, and that first finger covering five strings. If you're struggling with that shape, because that first finger's making a bar across the top five strings, there's two things you can do. You can kind of make a little shortcut cheat with this thing, with three fingers, which is a bit unnecessary. You could just slap your pinky, pinky or third finger across those three strings. So across the D, G and B, the third fret. Give this a little rewind, this B flat section, because this might be the thing that kind of enables you to play this bar chord shape. If you're finding it tricky to get all those strings covered, then you can go and do a B flat five power chord. That's one on the A, three with the third finger on the D, and three with the pinky on the G. And then you're just gonna hit the A, D, and G strings. So we go D to B flat. Now that's how I did it with the power chord, B flat five, or I could do D, B flat major, then F major. You might already know how to do an F major bar chord. First finger goes across six strings, all six across the first fret. Second finger would go on the second fret of the G. Third finger would go on the third fret of the A, and the pinky would go on the third fret of the D. If you find that a bit tough, try this version of F. First finger, first fret B. Second finger, second fret G. Third finger, third fret on the A, and the pinky on the third fret of the D. So that B flat to F is probably the hardest change in the whole uh, song, probably the trickiest chords there. After the F, we go to a C major. So if you do go for that version of F major, the non-bar, it's a little bit easy to change to C because you just lift your pinky off, move your second finger. Okay, let me show you the first four bars of the chorus because we're gonna go D, B flat to F, then to C. Now we're gonna go back to D and B flat again and F again. Now this time, G. So that whole chorus is D for a bar, B flat for a bar, F for a bar, C for a bar, D for a bar, B flat for a bar, F for a bar, G for a bar. 
Okay, let me play the chorus. One, two, D first. D, B flat, F, C, then D, now B flat, then F, now G. Alright, we've gone verse, pre chorus, chorus, and now we're going to go and play the verse again. That was two times through, like before, then the pre chorus, and then the chorus. So it essentially goes verse, pre chorus, chorus, verse, pre chorus, chorus. Then we play the middle A, which goes D, B flat, G. Same strum, down, down, up, up, down. Let me talk you through that again. D for a bar, B flat for a bar, G for two bars. Whole four bar progression twice through. This is the middle A, so it comes after the second time we play the chorus. So it's verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse two, pre-chorus for the second time, chorus for the second time, then the middle A, which goes like this. Then we get these backing vocalists on the song, uh, it's kind of an instrumental section where Dave Grohl's uh, kind of lyrics drop out and it's kind of epic stringsy BVs. Now, it's very similar to the pre-chorus, this instrumental, it's E minor 7 for a bar, G for a bar, D for a bar, A sus 4 for a bar, E minor 7 for a bar, G for a bar, C add 9, for two bars. So it's the same as the pre chorus, that instrumental section, but we don't stay on the C add 9 for four bars, we stay on it for two. And then we go back for the third verse. Let me talk you from the top of the instrumental again, and we'll go into the verse. So E minor 7 to G to D to A sus 4 to E minor 7. G to C add 9 and again C add 9 now the verse so it's D A sus 4 E minor 7 G now remember this time is the third verse we only play through that progression once. So D for two bars, A7 sus4 for two bars, E minor 7 for two bars, G for two bars. No repeats. And then we're going to play C add 9. Now, this C add 9 is like a four bar build into the final kind of chorus as we know it. Now, check this out. When we went back to that verse, so after the instrumental section, we went back to play D for two bars, A7 sus4 for two, E minor 7 for two, and G for two. We went back to down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. That strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. That's what Dave Grohl's doing on his acoustic guitar part. It wouldn't be the end of the world if you just stood with down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. But do try when it goes back to the verse each time. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. It's a two bar strumming pattern. All right, we've gone. Instrumental, then the verse again, but just once through. And then we come to C add nine for four bars. We're gonna go down, down, up, up, down. That was the first strumming pattern, or we could go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And then we're into our final chorus. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go from the instrumental into the third verse through once, then that C add 9 for four bars, and then I'm going to hit the final chorus. But I'm going to stop at the start of that final chorus. Okay, here we go. Instrumental. One, two, E minus seven. G to D to A sus four. E minus 
seven, to G, to C at nine, two bars, not four, back to the verse, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, A seven to score, just once the verse this time, E minor seven, to G, then C at nine, The chorus D B flat F to C to D to B flat to F to G and through that final chorus there after we'd played C at 9 for 4 bars we can speed up the tempo. Um, they do this brilliantly, the Foo Fighters, in loads of their tunes to kind of end this big raucous kind of rock out. So when we've got D, B flat, F, C, D, B flat, F, and G, we can use the same strumming but gradually increase the tempo. So I'll demonstrate what I mean because we're going to transition into this outro with power chords. Uh, so let me show you the chorus speeded up. Um, so, well, speeding up, sorry. So from D major, one, to play now. C to B flat, to F, to C, to D, to B flat, to F, to G, and then we go into this power chord section, which is this shape. Five on the A with the first finger, three on the D with the third, Sorry, which is this shape. Five on the A with the first finger, seven on the D with the third finger, seven on the G with the pinky. And we're gonna go to this one and two and three and four and rhythm. It's kind of classic rock down strums. One and two and three and four and. Then we drop that shape down. That's a D5 there at the fifth fret. We drop it down to the first fret. So we've got one on the A, three on the D, three on the G. And we do the same strum, one and two and three and four and. So we've gone. And then we come down and we build the same shape off the low E string. Three on the E, five on the A with the third finger, five on the D with the pinky. And we stay on this chord here, which is G5, for two bars. So we go. So the whole of that kind of round is the same. Don't forget, there is our middle A, and it goes with those power chords. D5, B flat, G for two. And it goes round and round. I'll play it twice so you get the idea. There we go. So that's round and round. Now on the version, it kind of comes to a stop at the end of that G5, but you might play it in a band or play it with a singer, or you might sing it and you might just want to choose how kind of wild you go at the end. So D5 for a bar, B flat five for a bar, G5 for two bars, round and round with that one and two and three and four. And that thing going on. All right. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and it gave you everything you need to learn this uh, cool new tune by the Foo Fighters. Uh, please do like the video if you enjoyed it and click subscribe if you like the content we're putting up here. Don't forget chord diagrams and all the stuff you need to learn this song is over on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash soundhubmusic.